Hello, and welcome back. Since I uploaded the first video about uh, Mr. Vic Amuso, there have been uh, so many requests for doing a part two. So this time I would like to uh, answer the request for uh, doing that. This is the part two of Mr. Vic Amuso. As you already know, Mr. Vic Amuso is allegedly former Lucchese crime family boss. During his uh, regime, because uh, there have been uh, so many uh, bloodsheds, some uh, U.S. Uh, assistant attorney called him uh, Deadly Dawn. He is now serving a life sentence for racket tilling and murder, which he allegedly committed. Under this reconstitute, they can catch the boss of uh, some lower level uh, members or associates of his uh, organization who uh, committed uh, crime, including murders and racketeerings. Before that, without actually catching the boss doing the thing or actually, you know, recording the scene of giving order, they couldn't catch him. But now they don't need that proof. If somebody who belonged to that organization commit some kind of crimes, the boss can be arrested. But of course, the prosecution side need some witness and evidences. There are many people who pointed out, actually, under boss Anthony Casso, I mean, gas pipe Casso, was more powerful than Mr. Amuso. I was not there, so I actually do not know the truth. However, the thing is, the former boss, Anthony Corallo, when he was arrested for attending the commission where all bosses all over the United States get together to uh, decide the general direction of the La Cosa Nostra. Attending that meeting means he was automatically related to a criminal organization, so he was arrested and got a life sentence. So this uh, Mr. Corallo wanted those whom he could trust to succeed uh, his regime. So, allegedly, he called Mr. Amuso and uh, Mr. Casso. They say, first, Mr. Parallo offered the position to uh, Mr. Ca Casso, but he declined and uh, he said he would rather Mr. Amuso take it over. And uh, those rumor that uh, Mr. Casso has more power than uh, Mr. Amuso comes from this uh, origin of who takes which position and stuff like that. Like I said, the detail, only those who were very close to them knew. But uh, in my uh, hunch, I don't think there was uh, much power difference. I do uh, infer that uh, Mr. Casso was uh, the more aggressive one. At the time, uh, uh, the Lucchese captain, Anthony Accenturo, kind of said uh, when he worked under Mr. Casso, all he said was uh, uh, kill kill and he get uh, what he can even if he doesn't deserve it so uh, he was like a wild beast but uh, 
like I said, allegedly, Mr. Amuso's uh, administration was uh, the most bloody administration even in the American Mafia family. I keep saying things kind of indirectly because Mr. Amuso never used a word mafia or mafioso or organized crimes or Lucchese family or anything that has to do with the organized crimes to me. Getting back to uh, power balance between Mr. Amuso and Mr. Casso, nature of the personality of uh, Mr. Anthony Casso was more into uh, violence. Although I did not uh, officially had a counseling session with him, uh, based upon my experiences, there's a very high possibility that uh, he belongs to the social psychopath. There are three types of psychopath. One is primary psychopath. That is uh, uh, emotional handicap. Very shallow emotions. Second is act exactly like primary psychopath. But the person does it because it, he thought, was the best way to survive in the violent and disadvantageous aggressive condition. It is called the secondary psychopath. So he does terrible things, violent things, but he regrets later on. And he has uh, full emotions. And this secondly psychopath is equal to sociopath that you are more familiar with. And third one that uh, most of the general people do not know is the social psychopath who was born in gang family or mafia family or in the area that uh, violence and murders and uh, are the rampant, they take of those incidents as uh, natural. They are accustomed to uh, those uh, negative uh, incidents, but uh, they do have love to only their loved ones. In my understanding, Mr. Caso belongs to this uh, third type, uh, the social psychopath. He loved his family most. His family was before anything else. Allegedly, he didn't play around with uh, other ladies like all their, you know, uh, gangsters did because uh, he liked his wife better, you know. And the same thing can be said about uh, uh, Mr. Kuklinski, the mafia hitman for Gambino family. He loved his family too. Even Mr. Casso uh, shed tears when he was talking about uh, his family. But the amazing thing was, uh, right now, Mr. Amuso is 86 years old. And uh, Mr. Caso was eight years younger. So he was 78, but he was infected by coronavirus. And he died because of the COVID-19. What an uh, unexpected, ironical way of dying. I assume he missed uh, his uh, family so much at his uh, deathbed, although I, haven't, I have never seen him in person before. <clears throat> okay, those are all I can tell you about, uh, you know, alleged relationships between the two and who they are. But uh, based on what is available, in their writings, there was a possibility that Mr. Amuso was a little bit uh, 
paranoid of uh, this uh, enemy faction and the same family. So uh, that's the reason why he was called uh, Deadly Dawn. But uh, I still think uh, main uh, uh, engine for doing that could have been uh, Mr. Casso, more likely. Okay, and uh, oh, by the way, my name is uh, Dr. Samurai. I specialize in uh, international social pathology, but also an active uh, counselor at prison for 20 years now. And also I have many uh, ultimate prison friends, so to speak, in American prison system. So I am learning from my prison friends about uh, things from the you know down below the angle which is not usually available because most of the people I correspond with have you know multiple movies and books written so they are at most extreme level so in a sense they are my teacher to understand uh, what is really really going on under superficial beauty of American society okay and uh, this is the I think uh, Christmas card that the Mr. Amuso uh, gave me he was kind and uh, I, I always called him a Mr. Amuso and he always started the letter with the dear professor. There's something in common between uh, uh, Italian-American lifestyle and Japanese lifestyle and the thinking. So we kind of get uh, very close, although we never discussed uh, uh, what the, his real business is. I'm going to... Uh, introduce some of the letters in this part too and uh, this one goes like this this is talking about the rico statute he was arrested right and like i said in the very beginning uh, they arrest the organizational uh, figure and they have to back up that arrest with the witness and the evidences. He says his trial documents were found in the position of the person who later became informer against uh, him. Talking about uh, the information that person should know he could have had. And the same thing is also uh, written right below that. Another issue I may raise is New York Times reporter wrote an article that says uh, witness against uh, Mr. Amuso at the trial already pled guilty to four murders. And that, that was never revealed the, to Mr. Amuso, you know, uh, on disclosure of uh, what was supposed to be disclosed to the person who is tried. Although he never complained about uh, anybody, there's this uh, law called the uh, habeas corpus, right? Uh, it is, uh, simply speaking, the only way those who were already convicted and incarcerated can fight against his case. But uh, he cannot fight against what he was convicted of. If there was some kind of loophole, some kind of clear mistakes in the process of conviction, conviction could be turned over. So that's why he was uh, writing things about you know these two things you know 
information was leaked to uh, uh, informant against him before the trial. That was a big thing, if it is true. And also, the witness was actually murderers of four people. That is a big thing. But it was not mentioned at the trial. Not a good thing in terms of credibility of the you know, witness. But uh, I do not know what exactly happened. Okay. And uh, this one goes like this. At this time, Donnie was only 57 years old. And uh, he is in a great physical condition and will make it home healthy for sure and he was very very happy about him it's like uh, he could go home instead of uh, mr amuso himself and he goes like this to lie and betray friends these cowards die a thousand deaths and we as men die only once with uh, leaving this good earth with honor and respect and after that he goes like this i have arthritis in my hands from playing so many years handballs you know you see in uh, movies prison movies like uh, they are playing uh, handballs uh so many years of playing handballs in cold damp weather so it it's been like 30 years and uh although he didn't uh, complain about uh, his uh, condition we could uh, only imagine it was not uh, necessarily uh, best uh, condition there's this uh, another letter which talks about uh, what kind of uh, condition he is leading his life it goes like this i'm gonna read it right okay 90 percent of people here are not good it is safer to say they have been rescued rather than being arrested if you know what i mean that means uh, they were living their terrible lives outside child molesters were never allowed to remain in uh, penitentiaries these places are filled with uh, low ones and men like me they stay away from us so those people who do drugs and stuff they know who he is so they stay away from us because they know i hate them and would never talk to them or rats and lying informers are the ones who put me here and they are the last ones i and my friends would ever talk to or stay around them that is the story of being in these prisons in america so my nights i'm always reading a book to me good books make the greatest companions and things like that so behind the swallowing everything within himself we could uh, sense a touch of uh, what he was embracing in himself but uh, you know in my conclusion i do not know exactly what he did in general we have like a yakuza's right in japan as an organized crimes i don't think the society needs yakuza but uh, at the same time 
in those world, they are not uh, sugar-coated. Once they make mistakes, they have to go to uh, prisons or high possibility of uh, uh, being uh, stabbed or killed and stuff like that. So living under law of nature, there are many uh, who maintain a genuine kindness to others, which is, uh, I uh, emphasize, is very rare in ordinary company members or officials or those in uh, including their uh, university professors and stuff like that which I am one of you know because they are living under such threats and risks and dangers their natural emotions are still alive so they care about others in the way ordinary people would never do and that's partly why those who are born in not necessarily advantage to family condition were attracted to uh, that world and uh, I don't know what exactly Mr. Amuso did, but, uh, and uh, there must have been something that uh, he is now regretting doing too. I, but still from him, all I see is a highly disciplined person who care those youngsters who support him. And uh, now seeing this, uh, drugs spread all over inside the prison systems like a person like him hate those people who easily lie and get the money by uh, deceiving their old grandma and stuff like that and he is uh, kind of uh, highly disappointed about the situation but anyway I think I provided uh, some new information and uh, <clears throat> maybe I can show you this in another way but I'm hoping uh, now he is the oldest allegedly in those uh, world. I'd like him to uh, live peacefully at least. Oh and one more thing he uh, he said uh, uh, now uh, he is at the correctional uh, institution, right? Not the penitentiary. The, he said that there's a big, big difference. When he was in the penitentiary, uh, the fights and bloods are all over. But now it's a little bit peaceful. So I think uh, his security grade keeps going down and uh, uh, at least can live, uh, you know, uh, uh, a life that is uh, uh, close to uh, what he can get outside. That's it. Uh, if you like this kind of story, uh, please click the ending Dr. Samurai logo of red. And up until next time, see you.